And it looks like we're... It looks like we're ready, though. Yeah, sometimes that first race can be the hardest. Um, I mean, the amount of nerves that went into my very first race was insane. And it doesn't matter how much you prepare yourself for it. doesn't matter how much you tell yourself. Look, it's just a bit of fun. Just do it. There's still always going to be that pressure there. Um, but yeah, looks like we're off. Welcome everyone to this best of three uh, between Idubs and Carrick. Both these guys are going to make this interesting, I promise. Um, Idubs recently with a very nice PV of 1046. Uh, Carrick as well uh, with a very recent PV of 1057. And I mean, looking at Carrick's PV and what I've seen from him, he could definitely PV in any of these races. Um, Idabs would be doing pretty damn well to get a PV, uh, given just how optimized the time is, but I wouldn't even be all that surprised. Yeah, and I think that might be, might be some good insider knowledge. Just an angle shit. Hello, villain, what's up? Both looking totally fine so far in YI3. Thankfully, the, the nerves haven't permeated that deep. Both are taking full advantage of those moving brown platforms as well. Both look good to get a 259. And, well, Carrot got a 258. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, I love that emote, Carrot. Oh, it's your own emote. That's not the best emote on. Okay, it's the second best emote on Twitch after Super M37 Smash Ola. But there you go. Um, yeah, Dab's got the 259. Dab's been listening to this commentary because he stomps on the shell after passing up for the shell jump, so... Saving the tiniest bit of lag. I'm just blown away by that, by that emote. It's, it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. So Carrick looked pretty good on the fences there. Uh, Dab's not looking too bad either. Yeah, very nice. So both are keeping this really, really close, as expected. I made the unfortunate mistake of trying to reload a stream, so now I'm getting an annoying ad. But we'll just have to look and see what Carrick's gonna do. I'm thinking that Carrick's probably gonna try and kill Iggy. Looks good to me. And the other stream loaded this time, both getting really nice AQ uh, kills. No issues for either of them. Nice cape grab for Carrick and also Dabs. We're gonna be having a look here and just seeing what sort of flight speed they're getting. And I think Carrick's looks pretty good. Again, as we mentioned a lot, can be quite hard to tell second hand. So maybe, maybe not actually, never mind. See, that was really weird. So I was. Looking at their coins and how fast they were scrolling by, I thought Dabs had a worse speed than Carrick, but apparently not, so just goes to show how difficult it can be to tell. Uh, but 
Dobbs did just nudge slightly Heather. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever, ever seen that. Um, and it's good to know, uh, because I was only recently told this, but I didn't realize you could go down pipes as Balloon Mario, so apparently that works. That's nice. Uh, um, Carrick is, or sorry, Dabs as well, having a bit of trouble losing uh, the shell pretty early on. So both, both are playing a bit shaky uh, in DS1, but we'll see just how both react to that going into this next level. Can be tough at times. Switching part, yeah, I suppose that makes sense. I mean, that makes sense based on what I've seen in the likes of Janked Up Mario Party and stuff, but I wouldn't have actually thought to do that. That's a good backup, I think. Damn, I've never seen that happen in Dry Room. And I have a strange feeling that it's probably never happened to Karik either. So Dabs has a nice buffer going into Star Roll, but by no means um, anything too solid. This could very easily switch hands again. But he looks to have a lead of about 7 or 8 seconds, which is pretty nice. But Dabs already struggling a bit with Star World 1. Uh, an opportunity for Carrick. Nice seconds up for Dabs, though. Very nice. Uh, I sort of feel like both of them got 285. My memory is totally non-existent. I've already forgotten what Dabs got, but I'm thinking based on his dips, those are very close. That was a nice recovery for Carrick as well. Didn't look like he was going to get a second sip of any um, form, but did in the end, thankfully. Dabs getting the optimal dive under at the end of... Oh! Carrick nearly got it as well. Very, very tough strap. Saved very little time, but definitely should go for it. Oh, that was got a 286, okay. And I quite like that strap for Star World 3 from Dabs. Um... Just using that silver P switch to open up that block. It isn't the most optimal, but it is quite fast. Fairly easy. Oh wow, Dabs got a 270 there, so flight speed really wasn't great. But again, I didn't even notice that, and I'm, you know, sitting here watching it. Yeah, absolutely what Aaron says. Um, it pretty much just takes for something to happen to Bowser. R, R here. So if Carrick uh, lands his door to probably looking at about eight or nine seconds difference. And Carrick gets it. Both will be moving on to room five here. Will be damage boosting. Not a bad dark room at all from uh, Dabs, but Carrick has been struggling just a little bit. I mean, that dark room, it still wasn't that bad. It really hasn't changed too much uh, in terms of our standings. Still pretty, pretty much relying on Dabs making some sort of mistake on Bowser. Yeah, shitty. I thought 
I thought it did look close, but that Koopa has a weird set of standards at times. Like, the majority of the time you get hit, it really, really feels like you shouldn't. Uh, if you're unaware of how that part works, very unintuitive a lot of the time. So, nice phase one from both of them. Um, both have been looking pretty solid so far. Pretty much all Dabs has to do to perform a successful cape kill and the match it is. Although, interestingly enough, going for the capeless version of uh, that third hit to get ball skip doesn't waste any time, at least if it's done optimally, but it, it is interesting to see that. Oh, well. Carrick has a bit more of an uphill battle at this point if he wants to take this race down. Using Cape there. Pretty tough with already a deficit. But this has been a pretty good run for IDAPS. Coming to a close here. Probably around the 1050 mark. Well, that's a 10.54 RTA, and I think that was a 10.51 race time. Big, big GG's to IDABS. Very well done on that first race. Uh, Carrick will have two hits to do in this final phase. You're not having that extra Mecha Koopa hit. And... And... Carrick finishing up with an 11.22 race time. 11.25 RTA. Uh, very well done to Idols for keeping that so close to me right up to the end as well. But, um, yeah, that, <laughs> that was a really good run, especially with what happened at the door, too. Uh, Dabs has been playing very well. Carrick as well. Carrick has been very, very tough for me to the end. And Dabs has made it official. He's done claps. I don't think I've done claps in a single race of mine. So I should have been disqualified weeks ago. I agree, Aaron. Or well maybe maybe I shouldn't agree, because I'm I'm partial sort of adjudicator here. But if I was a spectator very much the outcome I would like to see. <laughs> no, don't hit the people in. Hit the PB. That's what you want to hit. MGL, what did Mafium print in do? Exactly, if you get a 259, you're bombed. Absolutely shitty, it is the second best emote on Twitch. Oh, right, okay, I see. I should have made the connection, Dobbs. But yes, Dobbs just needs a moment or two to get ready, up. so we will be back in a couple of moments.
Alrighty, welcome back everybody. We're just getting readied up. We're only a few moments away from getting this next race started. Carrick making the most of his time, uh, doing a bit of work in DS1. Damn, that people in, again, it's one of those things that I've always felt like I should have seen by now, but nope, tonight was the first time. It feels weird to have gotten hit there like a hundred times, but not hit the people in once. Okay, folks, welcome back to race two of this best of three between Idobs and Carrick. Idobs took down the first match, so if he takes down this one, the match is his. Also, I said took down the first match, it was a race. But if Carrick takes down this race, then we're going to a tiebreaker. Uh, but yeah, as I said before the first one, we were very much promised with a very close match between these two. Last match pretty much showed that off except for a couple of things happening, Bowser. But these things happen. Oh, well, Carrick actually lost the tiniest little bit of time there, losing P speed very momentarily just at the end of YI2. Running off that pipe. It's no big deal whatsoever, but it is something to comment in YI2 for once. Though I can't even complain about lack of commentary for Y2, because I've actually commented at two races with that on Y2, including dots. That was an interesting race. Ooh! I'm not sure if I just missed saw that, but it almost looked like Carrick was about to lose peace speed. I need to rewatch that on the future. No, I, I think I just missed it. I don't know, maybe I was just having a, a, a hallucination or something.
activate both again in Y for the passing up shell jump both of them. Also both spin jumping on the shell. Big thumbs up. What he got a 259er? Are you serious? I, I I don't know, I just caught it out of the side of my eye. It almost looked like you know the way you can bonk up against something with P speed and then still maintain it? It looked like that, but if he got 259, he clearly didn't. The margin for getting 259, as like everybody knows, it's very, very tight. Okay, Dobbs did play kind of safe at the start of that middle fence. Uh, Carrick as well played it reasonably safe. But both finding a decent middle ground. Dabs deciding to release that mushroom early. Because why not? It doesn't make any difference. So he'll be picking up a key at the next level, um, that would just replace the mushroom with the fire flower. So coming out of World 1, I think it's even closer than it was last time. Um, but obviously, anything at this stage, especially with if it's within like one or two seconds, is not usually going to matter. Not, not at this level anyway. You know, talking about like someone like Iron versus Drama's Path, half a second, yes, that's going to matter. Probably like most of the time as well. But um, yeah, both. I'm gonna just see what they're. Light speed looking like. I think both are very similar. Yeah, maybe Dab's slightly better off there, especially with that, uh, the key grab. Oh, and Carrick entering that pipe with uh, 278, I didn't break on there. Thankfully, this time, new people in has the shell. So much better than last time. Oh, oh, well, interesting. Oh, okay, we actually just had a lot of things happen there. Uh, so, Carrick lost his shell on the second to last fish. Dabs lost it on the last fish. So Carrick would have actually been the winner out of those two situations, but even more so, uh, Dabs dropped the Fire Flower, I believe in hopes of going for Stair Clip, but just missed the Fire Flower altogether, so if he's going for Rim 5, he's either going to lose time or has to go for Rim 7. So Carrick actually has picked up the lead here. Uh, he's very marginally ahead, but also has the benefit of the Fire Flower. But I believe that Dabs dropping the Fire Flower there was an attempt to grab that. To do Star Clip Secret House and then switch back over to Cave. Zips are going to be tantamount here. They're going to be very, very important because assuming that neither of these guys make any more mistakes up until Lee's front door, this will decide the lead. Carrick with a very nice first sip. Dabs two. And both struggling with this second one. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, this has just made it even closer. Look at this. Look at how close we are. 
Now, Dabs is actually back in the lead again, at least in terms of just like where they literally are. But Dabs doesn't have a Fire Flower, so he has the difficulty of needing to go to Room 7 or just automatically losing time with Room 5. So it could be argued that Carrigan maybe even still in the lead in that sense. Ooh, ooh, Carrick just struggling slightly with the key there. I think both getting that optimal swim under strap. And Dab showing off that strat, throwing the T-switch against the block. Saving one in-game stack over Carrick's trap. Flight speed as well at this point is going to be pretty important. I think I think Dallas has good flight speed. I'm probably wrong, but it looks pretty good. <laughs> okay, well apparently it was wrong. Um, Carry got on the lower end of 272, so probably looking at a uh, speed of 50. Yeah, apparently so. I'm just, I just can't see it. I can't see it for other people's streams at all. Like, I'm pretty good at it on my own, like, TV, but not for streams whatsoever. Okay, and, uh, okay. Uh, Dab's going for room 5. Almost looked like he was just gonna try and run straight through it, which would end in death. Or at least him losing his game. But look at just how close this is now. This dark room will be important. Oh, Carrick. Carrick is struggling just a little bit. They both are a dark room in one piece. Well, we have a situation here. The situation being, if, uh, being that if Dabs pulls off another perfect kit kill, Probably very little carry can do about it. Okay, Dav's hitting or Dav's landing hit one. It was a slow hit. Both look perfectly fine on hit two. This is insane, folks. There's, there is still about a four second difference, but this very much could go either way. Looks like Dab's setting up again for the capitalist version of Pulse. <laughs> okay. This is making it interesting. This. Is the... Okay. Big congrats to Karaka actually landing that fourth hit. I was uncertain there. I was really, really uncertain as to. Oh, okay. Well, I missed that, but Dabs has clearly got another cycle of missing that fourth hit. Uh, this is pretty disastrous uh, for this race. Eric looking to be in a pretty good spot right now. Gets that fifth hit, no problem. He is just one hit away. <laughs> You can breathe now, Iron. Very well done, the Carrick. Making this one each. I have to say, I'm kind of pleased. I want this. <laughs> I want to see a tiebreaker. But Dabs is going to need to focus himself now because he was so close. He's so close to getting over that line two 0 and now he's got to bring it back to win two one. Well, it definitely can happen trying to go for that fast hit on uh, phase 3. If you're going to die somewhere in Bowser and for it to be like understandable, it's going to be exactly there. Uh, but we, we got to see a death in Bowser nonetheless, you know. And uh, 
I think I think Dobbs will be finishing up first. So that's nice. So whenever Dabs posted and shot OK, I thought that might happen. So it looks like we're going on to race three. <laughs> um, I, I actually totally agree with Arms. This gives you a couple of moments just to reflect on things. Just to be like, you know, we're not doing this again. That's not happening again. But, um, yeah, that's the only problem with doing capeless ball skip, it's actually quite easy to get hit by that bowling ball, regardless of whether you spin jump on it uh, to get over it, or whether you, like, sort of duck, you know what I mean, duck jump over it. It's easier to get hit there than you would think. Look at this, Karak is just knocking out zips. Oh, okay, well... I've cursed him. I've totally cursed him. Wow, landing on that edge every time. That edge messing him up. Again? <laughs> Damn. Exactly what Fitz said, plus you don't want to use your one time before your race. If you use your one time before your race, you're screwed. You can't just declare before Star World 1, one time, because then you're just going to mess it up. Using your one time early is a risky strat. Exactly fits. That is some poker wisdom right there. Can use your one time. Got a got a sip for a very special occasion. Yeah, Aaron, I I totally feel the same way. Um, I know both these guys very much want to win, and I wish it could be that way, but. Attempt to run this video game. Based on how long I've run this game, there are no excuses as to why I suck. But I've uh, been speedrunning this game for five years. And I still don't have a time that I would confidently say, I, I'm happy with that. Other than, I can't even joke actually. I was about to say other than Ubro, but I actually don't even have the best time in that anymore. Okay, looks like we're about to get started here. Both sitting on one player. Always a good start as well. I 
don't think we've seen anybody uh, press air B on fair two, which is really good. Okay, and we're off. Welcome back to race three of this best of three match between IDABS and Carrick. As you can all see, it's one each, so this is our tiebreaker for the match. Good luck to both runners. Okay, so last time, the only thing that I really could have mentioned about YI2, Kerrick lost a couple of frames just by running off the platform. No such problems this time, though. Okay, so very first race, Carrick got a 258, second race got a 259. Interesting to see, will it be a 258 or a 259? Ooh, it could be a 258. It was so close! It was so close to a 258, I feel like it was. Uh, oh wait, what's wrong with... Time. Like, it does seem wrong, but I just assumed, like, it was doing race timing or something, and I didn't notice it. Okay. Again, as we've seen in the previous two races, both passing up and shell jump and spin jumping it. Getting rid of it. Saving that little bit of lag. Uh, it, I have no idea in the sync. Like, I'm assuming in terms of gameplay, these guys are both exactly tied, pretty much. Very, very nice. Kerry getting a 281, even though that was incredibly safe. It's quite hard to pull off a 281 if you're playing it exactly that uh, safe, but... Oh, that was good. Oh no, the level of commentary delay is now... oh dear. Delay? Well, when you say delay, you mean I'm like behind the stream, because that's nowhere near as bad as me spoiling it. Oh. Well, you just keep working on it, I trust you, really. You, Monker Butter, what's up? Okay, we're moving on to World 2. Both will be hoping for similar results to last time. Both performed very well in World 2. Oh, 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 oh. Carrick is struggling to get P speed again. Uh, fell down from the clouds. Yeah, it sort of tripped me up because I thought it was Monkey Butler. But, uh, both of my expectations were, uh, <laughs> not correct, I guess. But yes, I agree, Aaron, that is a very good username. They both fared a lot better in Dry Room than last time. 
Dobbs has been looking pretty comfortable in dry room. Herrick will be hoping to dodge that people in. But also, unfortunately... Oh. Oh. Okay, well, things are happening. Uh... Both are struggling. Dabs lost his shell really early on, tried to get the rainbow blocks, then also smashed the rainbow blocks. Oh, it looks like Karik is also taking the B-switch, so... Pretty rough for both of them. Uh, Karik bearing slightly worse uh, due to missing the shell in dry room. Oh my, my. Dabs is so close to getting hit by that boo -ray. Yeah, so it's sort of interesting how we see race one, lots of nerves, looking a bit shaky from both of them. Race two, both very comfortable. And this race, both are looking shaky again. Ew, but nice door entry for the character. That was very nice. <laughs> yeah, so both both of their ghost houses look really, really good. I mean, Dabs' dips just speak for themselves. They were absolutely perfect. Well, Carrick getting very close as well. I mean, both zips went very, very well. Just landing a bit early again on that platform. Uh, we saw him do that several times in practice, but both getting zips, very, very good. Yeah, and I was also getting the bonus of getting 391, not just 390, 391. Carrick with a nice ending to Star Wars 2. Sorry, or er, wait, 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 no, no, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I was getting my streams mixed up, I was thinking, wait, am I getting these guys mixed up the whole time? I have them. But yes, yeah, both are in Star World 4 now. Um, I can confidently say Dallas is good flight speed, I can tell that for sure this time. Not so sure about Karak, I guess we're gonna see pretty soon. Doesn't look too bad, but maybe, maybe yeah, 71. So thankfully for Dobbs this time, he's going to be able to grab that Fire Flower for Rim 5. Last time the lack of Fire Flower cost him like, truth. I think it's like, or actually it feels like it would be more than 3 seconds. I don't know. I'm sure someone in chat knows. But it, it, it's pretty costly whenever it's so close at the end. Quite possibly, Arn. Quite possibly. Oh, oh, no, no, I didn't want to see that. It just, it started to de-escalate very, very quickly there. Uh, un unnamed black starfish. Claiming this run as his own. Very unfortunate to see. I hope I didn't spoil that. Because I made no attempt. Oh my word. Karak. I'm rooting for you to finish Karak, because this is 
this has been unfortunate. It's been unlike what we've seen from Carrick uh, before now. But there's absolutely uh, nothing wrong with uh, coming second stops. Stops just staying at this category. But uh, Carrick has made this very, very good fight. Well, Dabs hasn't too much to do now, and this has been another very good run for him. And honestly, it probably doesn't feel too bad to lose to a run like that, because that was very, very good. Um, what was required from Perry here was the PB by over 6 seconds. So quite a big ask. I think that's a big ask. Oh no! What? I... Ah, uh, I looked away. You Fitz! Thank you so much for that tier 1 sub. To walk our resident restreamer. Well, along with everybody else who's been restreaming, but Walk has been putting in just so, so much work. Carrick, we love you. I know it's tough for it to happen this way. But Dabs, big congrats on that 2-1 victory. Very well deserved. Uh, those were some really good races. But you, the support in the channel this evening has been incredible. Everyone has just been going nuts. It's been great to see that. Okay, uh, if either Dabs or Carrick want to join me for a quick chat live just before we finish up, I'd be more than happy to hear from them. I'm sure they have a lot to say about their race. You know, and Carrick is in the six. Uh, unfortunately, I was typing a couple of things, but he is very much in the six. You and joining me, we've got Dabs. I mean, you've already heard a bunch of what I've had to say anyway. Uh, Carrie is struggling just a little bit to get connected. Discord is doing all this stuff for like pitching this video. <laughs> but just shut it properly down and then like open it again. Carrick, that's work for us. You, Dabs, what's up? What's going on? Uh, those were some pretty good races. That last race from yourself, obviously, was pretty damn good. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, I'm pretty, uh, happy with the last race. I was, uh, not really as nervous for the third race. I don't know why. I, I, I kind of felt calm for it, so that's good at least. But the second race, I was so nervous, because... I was gonna yeah. attempt clip. I was gonna attempt clip just because I love that trick, and... <laughs> I wanted to uh, 
try and attempt it, but uh, I butchered it, and then uh, just lost all control after that. <laughs> uh, I feel for Carrick that it was pretty much the opposite way around for him. I feel like in that second race, he just didn't look like he had any nerves at all. He was just nailing everything, but he did look under the tiniest little bit of pressure in the third one. Um, I don't know, it's, it's interesting anyway, but um, yeah, you played really well in that last one. Yeah, the first race was pretty pretty good as well, but uh, I'm against Yoshi next, so that's going to be uh, pretty rough. <laughs> oh, uh, you're not excited Yoshi. for I'm not excited for that one, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn, Yoshi. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yoshi. Um, uh, whenever Yoshi was playing Iron, sorry, I'm just, you know, being almost here. I thought that was, like, closer to a coin flip than, like, anybody had suggested because even though Aaron is probably the best 11 exit runner and possibly racer. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yoshi had just been playing insane the whole time. So it's going to be tough for you, but I believe in you. I'm not sure if we can hear Carrick yet. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, what's oh. up, Carrick? Hey, good what's race, up? man. Uh, yeah, GG's, dude. Well, I mean, you guys can speak among yourselves if you wish, because I feel like I've just talked way too much. I Sorry, I didn't realize, Carrick, that your mic was actually connected. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm here. Discord is being, being horrible this evening. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm trying to, <clears throat> just trying to remember chronologically what happened in races. I uh, think the P balloon. The P balloon. That I saw that. I was yeah. like, "What the heck just happened?" I, <laughs> I looked back was, at the screen. I'm like, "What?" That is like the first time that has ever happened. That is. I don't think I swear. I don't think awful. I've ever seen it. Yeah, I was like, "What the?" It's, you know, it's I just like to ever happen. <laughs> I like to put on a show. You know, that's all that was. <laughs> that was a planned moment for excitement value. Um. Although it was nice for me because I never realized, or at least I'd never seen, that uh, people in Mario actually can enter pipes. But good to know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, if that was, yeah. <laughs> he went right in. <laughs> that, was, that was good. Um, that, that second one was insanely close. Uh, thankfully for Carrick, Dobbs did sort of slip up on Bowser. So, gave you yeah, a thanks for that, Dobbs. Yeah, yeah, I hacked that up pretty bad. On that. Uh, what was yes, that phase right. two? Is that what happened? Where I went for phase two, and then I just—I hit I think I hit the propeller. I think that's what happened. Yeah, that was it. Um, yeah, so I tapped, I think I, yeah, I think I tapped uh, tap A there. Just hit the propeller. Something happened. So capeless ball skip. I'm assuming that's something you find easier. Yeah. I just so I'm so used to it. It's in you know like I've been doing it for so long now since I've been running. You know. 11 no cape <laughs> i mean it, it probably it probably is easier the only thing i thought that like can it happen so <laughs> it's all pretty... to get hit yeah it's pretty easy small <laughs> oh yeah oh for sure <clears throat> um but yeah carrick oh i mean it was so it was so hard because i was rooting for you both really i didn't want to see either of you guys uh, it's a real middle of the ra- middle of the road ground to take right there <laughs> oh no no I I'm being genuine I'm I am being genuine in this one I think I've said that to many people but I was rooting for both of you there hard to see it's just hard to see what happened at the end but I mean you, you I don't know so, yeah I had trash runs I uh, I definitely didn't deserve those like didn't oh, deserve I, on those I'm definitely anything could happen you know? yep Yep, it's just proof anything could happen. And I couldn't get zips for the life of me. I'm not, yeah, those, some, I got zips finally the last run, and I was, that was I feel like that was so clutch for me right there. <laughs> finally got good zips. Yeah, it's always good when you get those. <laughs> in, in the last run, you got the second zip right, but you landed on that platform like you had a couple of times in practice, yeah. Oh man, that yeah, in the third race, what happened on the zips is like I got a 289 because I hit the platform. Oh wow, I damn, like I didn't see that. 20 times damn, in practice. Really? Yeah. Shit. I hit that platform every time. It's awful. Wow. It's rough. Yeah, the zips did go really well, just the sort of bit beforehand. Um, but it can be really, really difficult to recover if the sort of setup goes badly, but I was impressed to see you actually get it. 
Uh, it was good. But um, thank you so much, guys, for the races. It's been great yeah. being a part of it. I've enjoyed watching, commentating, all of that. So thank you so much, both of you. Yeah, thanks. You've done a great job, Ben. I'm just stoked I've gotten as far as I did, you know? I'm totally unsurprised that you got this far. I, I knew that you would be wrecking this second chance bracket, but um, yeah, I think it's been a really good job. Massively, I, I played your seat as well. I think both of you have. Yeah, well, yes, you have. Yeah, I think we're both very close in the seating. <clears throat> yeah, we were. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I, I don't really have much more to say. I've, yeah, me neither. But uh, yeah, thanks, Ben. And uh, thanks for the restream walk. And uh, I'm going to get crushed tomorrow night, probably. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, are you going? Oh, yes, you are going for it. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's going against wow. Yoshi tomorrow, 9 p.m. Yep. That's going to be uh, uh, pretty rough. But uh, It'll be a fun one to watch, though. Yeah. Also, thanks folks, I know that it's not on the calendar. Uh, Stan and I will be racing tomorrow as well. Uh, we're just finalizing a couple of things secret so, show <laughs> i really really want to win that one because the winner of that gets to play truman versus volpe and i'll have to play either of those guys it would be such a pleasure but we'll see what happens stan yeah. is pretty good at this game some would suggest so yeah <laughs> all right we all have a good night yeah everyone have a good one catch everyone later all right take care everybody thank you so much see you bye